let's give a round of applause to these gentlemen who came out on a holiday weekend to support us and our men and women who are fighting overseas for us. Thank you, gentlemen. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the event that you guys are going to and we'll kind of work you through this. So I understand you're part of a culinary competition. Now, did you guys just compete here in St. Louis to get this chance to go to Germany or was it something that was every city in the country was represented? It was actually uh, us against four other cities from around the country and we competed at the uh, national conference down in Orlando, Florida last uh, July. Wow. Uh, no, it was just the national championship. The five regional teams were selected and then the five competed for the national title. Great. So when you go over into Germany, how many people are you guys going to be competing with over there? There will be uh, 32 different countries competing. Okay, boy. You can't dance ever here in Stevie Wonder. Boy, something's wrong with you, I can tell you that. Um, we have a, a couple certificates of appreciation that we want to hand out today to some of our um, our sponsors and some of the folks that are out here helping make this event possible, so we make sure that we want to do that. Um, one is we have the HDA, the Hospitality Development Alliance, and for some of you who don't know, that's an independent um, self-help group for some of our local restaurants. It's kind of a, a local restaurant community that um, comes together for marketing and different ideas and exchange of topics, and Corey Schuster here is representing the HDA, and he's part of the local chapter here. He's actually president of it, so he has some awards that he, and also Corey, come on over here if you would, Casey. Casey Schiller, from he's from the local chapter of the ACF, the American Culinary Federation. And again, you want to one more time introduce our junior chefs. They're getting ready to leave. Let's give them a nice thank you here. Absolutely. On behalf of the St. Louis Chefs de Cuisine Association of St. Louis, along with the American Culinary Federation, we wanted to once again introduce these three out of our five students and young culinarians who are representing the United States in October against the world at the Culinary Olympics. These young men have competed against many other teams in the United States and they have become victorious. They are representing the United States, the only team representing the U.S. going to the Culinary Olympics. We have the pleasure of having three of those team members with us this afternoon. First, Kevin Taylor, Wayne Seavey, and JT Gillino. These three young men are going to bring us gold and make us number one in the world in October. Let's hear it for the young, the team, 2008 USA Youth Team USA. Good job, guys. So we do. We have a certificate of recognition here that we want to make sure we present. The first one is to Stephania's Restaurant. That's going to be to William Lumbo. Bill, we thank you for your support here at Stephanie's and supporting our local culinary teams. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you very much, Bill. Okay, the next one that we want to make sure that we recognize is O'Leary's. Kevin O'Leary, thank you for coming out, Kevin. Little moonwalk action. I like it. In celebration of Michael Jackson's 50th birthday. Here we go. Thank you, Kevin. The next one, Ruiz, Mexican restaurant with Marissa Marshall. Marissa in the house. You know what? A rose among many weeds, huh? Got it, thank you. Thank you, Marissa. Okay, the next one, McKean's Pub, Vinny Sticker. Come on, Vinny. Thanks for coming in, man. When I say Vinny, yo, I just want to say Vinny like that. That's what I want to do. Thanks, Vinny. Thank you. Okay, and last but not least, Ozzy's, our host for Ozzy Bowl. Great job. We have Bert Gene. Thank you, Bert. Thanks, Bert. Okay, we have one final award. Boy, this guy's received a lot of them. But um, 
We appreciate you, buddy. I didn't have a chance of working with you in the early years, but I've heard stories. So a lot of people here have in this town and city. <laughs> I think I would have. <laughs> I don't know sometimes. But at any rate, Orville Middendorf, Orville, we thank you for all that you've done and just over the years for the Culinary Federation and the HDA. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay. Illini fans, let's hear you out there. Do we have any? Mizzou fans, let's hear you. I can't hear you, Tigers. Let's hear you, Mizzou.